Earlier today, we visited the tiny Tuscan town of Pistoia. But then we made a last minute decision to spend the rest of our day a little ways down the road. And now we're off to taste the magic water. And unbeknownst to us, we're about to stumble across a surreal, fairy tale like town. She feels a bit like Vegas. We haven't even walked in here for like two minutes and I'm already obsessed with it. And get the chance to drink from the fountain of youth. Or something like that. Wasn't expecting that. And ride a crazy steep and crazy old funicular to a hilltop haven. That was even better than I could have anticipated. It's a little terrifying, but I love it. This is the greatest discovery we've ever made. These people look like they're just living their absolute best life. Cheers! Before stuffing our faces with some one-of-a-kind gelato flavors. <laughs> they're not good. That's wild. We're Matteo and Misha, and we're currently on the world's slowest Italian road trip, traveling to all 20 regions of Italy. Subscribe to follow the adventure. Checked in? This time I checked in four minutes before the train arrived. That's preparation. We have made it to Montecatini Terme. The train ride was about 15 minutes, literally two, three stops over from Pistoia. So if you have time, you can do both in a day. Already loving the vibes. Train station's right behind us and you're already feeling like you're in a little cute and cozy town. I'm excited that we uh, got a chance to do this today or getting a chance to do this. Cause I've been really looking forward to it. it. Wasn't on the schedule for today, but we just decided to go for it. Oh, this is super cute. This town is a completely different feel to Pistoia and it's literally 15 minutes away. Happy we came? I'm happy we came. Like it's, this is actually, I don't like, this is just, I don't, you have to just see it. It is well, well oh, mundane. Look in front of us. Oh, this is so cute. I feel like I'm at a little like carnival. I love when they have the carousels here. Love this so much. It actually feels a bit like Vegas. Does it not? <laughs> we haven't even walked in here for like two minutes and I'm already obsessed with it and we haven't even done the thing that I've been the most excited to do here and I feel like I could just stay here. So all right, so this Montecatini Terme has taught us one thing. Do not judge a place by the internet because compared to Bastoya, Bastoya has like such a shining review on the internet. No offense to Bastoya. <laughs> but this just seemed like a little town that we actually we actually wrote off we we're like nah it doesn't really seem like it's worth a stop until we got off the train this is a pleasant surprise one kg steak plus one of 65 euro wow yeah let's see what's the menu looking like here focaccia a margarita is only seven i was expecting it to be more here so that's not bad normally we pay five but at a place that looks this bougie i would expect it to be more Oh, that looks so cool. So the main theme of Montecatini is that it's known for its thermal springs, thermal baths. There's a few of them. They each offer different things. And apparently Madonna has had their treatments of the water and the mud and, and the healing powers of it. So and now we're on our way to the first one. We're going to be going all the way up there. Can we please just talk about the aesthetic of this city? I feel like we're on a scavenger hunt of the cutest things in town because Mateo's like, look in this little corner over here. There seems to be something else that's super cute. And I think he's right. This is so pretty. Seriously, are we out of the loop on something? Did we, did we miss something? We've been How have we never heard of this place? We've been here for 10 minutes and I could live in this town happily. Sushi and American bar. You know what this actually feels like? This feels like if you have watched the program, The Good Place. Oh yeah. <laughs> It feels just like that. It's exceptionally clean. I almost feel like I'm on Rodeo Drive. I'm absolutely loving this. Teatro Verdi. I'm assuming for the composer, named after the composer. Giuseppe Verdi. He was a musical genius. And they named the theater after him. Lots oh. of theaters are named after him. Yo, this is a legit looking theater. Where are we? I don't know, this is the theater. I don't know, but this building. Can you believe it? Like, <laughs> I'm so pleasantly are we not, are we not confused. To be sharing this town I don't something? know. I feel like we need to keep this a secret. They've got a place called Termeland. Is it like a theme park? Game, games, park, and entertainment. Termeland, the thermal land. And then it tells you these are some of the baths there. 
Those are all the baths. It tells you which direction to go. We're now going to be entering the thermal park. It is the whole center of this town. Whoa. Where the thermal hot springs and that are. This is gorgeous. Here is one of the thermal spas, from my understanding, the Excelsior. Oh, Here but I think this, this is the one that's temporarily closed. I wanted to come to this one. Some nice music coming from. I know, and it's weird because like some stuff looks super new, but then you have this stuff over here that looks like it needs restoration. Maybe the spas here are like crazy and I feel like I'm get... being lured. Is that like yeah. a siren song from over there? <laughs> I feel like I'm being lured in this direction. There's some nice music playing. It looks like there's like a garden back there. Ingresso libero. Okay, this place looks kind of crazy. What's ingresso libero? Free entrance. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it was, wasn't like wrong. Whoa. Stop. There's like... This is the good place. What is this? Look at these chairs. When we have a home, I'm sourcing these chairs. I am so delightfully confused. There's like an entire park in the back with like nice little trees and everything. Oh. We got separated because we both got so distracted. I went this way, you went that way. Everything is modern and that's what's different. There's nothing like old there, yeah, but like modern like last hundred years. A pleasant little place. Look at this building behind us. Oh, now this is my kind of vibe. The torch holders are <laughs> dragons. I didn't notice it had two little towers. It looks like a little castle. I feel like we're in Narnia. Let's just move to like my top five favorite places in the country and we haven't even done what I wanted to do yet. All right, so apparently there are some magical healing taps coming up that we would like to go and fill up our water bottle from because it's actually empty right now. And we missed the Conad as we came into town. And if it makes us feel really energetic, well then we know it's magical. Mateo's worried that worst case scenario, we don't get water from that fountain. We have a tap here, so we're not going to miss this opportunity to fill it up because we're both pretty thirsty. Hopefully it's not thermal. Does it feel cold? Yeah, that actually feels nice and crisp. Does it feel like it has healing powers? Healing powers. <laughs> All right, so that magical thermal water doesn't have a pleasant aftertaste. So I don't think that's magical. It's just the city one. <laughs> what is that? I think that's it. That's where we're going. It looks so pretty, even from back here. It's very quiet. This whole area just seems so peaceful. The town just makes me want to lie down and just frolic in the grass. But yeah, we have reached our magical drinking water fountain building place. 
terme de tetuccio. Tetuccio? Oh, this looks magical. Unexpected. They're like tickets we need to get. Grazie. Mm -hmm. So there's two different prices. If you want the water, it's an extra euro. Otherwise, you pay six. I am so ready for this. It's not I even funny. I don't even funny. know what we come into. But she gave us cups for our drinking water. It's an extra euro. But she said you can only have one cup every 20 minutes. We just paid 14 bucks to come and see a fountain and drink magical <laughs> drinking water. I'm sorry. We're gonna be cured after this of whatever our ailments are. Oh my, this is, I'm actually a bit speechless. Quite strict about this water, like there's signs and everything saying it's strictly forbidden to carry the, the water out of here. Yeah. I'm wondering what they're putting in this water. Healing powers. Healing powers. And now we're off to taste the magic water. Are they all the same? Many of these two are running, I think. This okay, the so there's a. Do we talk to him? Is he the bartender for the water? Oh, well, they all kind of say the same thing. This is the Regina, so this must be, is this the Queen's water? Maybe yeah, the, maybe. Oh my God. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, we got distracted by the beauty of this place again. So now we're circling back to our fountain. So it seems to be the only one that's on. Like your cup? Are you ready for this? I don't know. I'm ready to be just wowed. It better be the, I think this is gonna be the best cup of water I've ever had. As long as it heals and doesn't give me the runs, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Here it is. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do both, both at the same time. Let's see. And go. Fountain of Youth. Let's come enjoy it here on the chairs with the view. Are you ready for this? Yeah. That's salt. Um, wasn't expecting that. It tastes like salt water. Like, like not straight out of the ocean. Like not that aggressiveness, but like. That is salty. <laughs> when you're really parched, like I'm very thirsty right now because we've been running around. I don't know that I could down this. Maybe this is why she said every 20 minutes. There's magic stuff in here, definitely. There's a 20 minute rule and there's, that taste is, is making me think that, that there's a reason for that. Mm. And I was saying, same amount of saltiness. Let's, let's see what Mateo thinks. I mean, I am hungry, so I hope it heals that as well.
that is salty. I wonder why. What do you think it is? It's healing powers. Yes, I'm, I'm actually damn thirsty, but I can't. She said one cup every 20 minutes, and I don't want to test that because next thing you know, my stomach's feeling like not good. Maybe you lose 10 pounds. Yeah, that is salty. I like it though. We're just gonna sit here for a minute, enjoy the view. Wow, what an unexpected experience this was. I have no idea where we are or what we do. <laughs> it's great. Cheers. Bottoms up. <laughs> I just read up what the spa is actually made for. So the waters behind us, there are four different taps from what I understand, and they each serve a different purpose. The one we have is more like a diuretic that like I don't know, it said it rejuvenates you. Some of them are for like your bowel movements, some of them are for like liver, cleaning your liver and whatnot. But apparently you can buy a whole day pass here and you're supposed to hang around and relax and listen to music and eat snacks and walk around the grounds and just chill. There's even like a shop apparently that gives you, you go into the shop, it says that your, your adrenaline and your serotonin levels are supposed to rise when you go in there it's all quite confusing but it's, it's peaceful in here i think this is a cool spot seven euros i don't know i like i like the look of it but it's like the same price as like a museum maybe if you chill here for a while yeah i still don't quite understand what we paid for that's the thing so i don't know but look at it it's see beautiful. for me seven euros to me for this is totally worth it but I'm way more of an aesthetic person than you, so <laughs> I, I care for an aesthetic. <laughs> Fun fact of the thermal drinking spa is that a tetucho is the little dome that houses the thermal spring. It's that little roof that's over there. Interesting. I feel like I should have worn like a toga or something like, like a bed sheet. We need to take a walk around. Mm. I feel like I'm in the old Roman days. Like if Rome and all the cities were actually still fully intact, I feel like this is what it would feel like to walk around them. I'm absolutely in love with it. And we haven't even seen everything. Oh, look, you found a little... Ooh, pancakes. Mateo's so hungry. I'm sorry, baby. Yeah, do you want to get something? Oh, yeah, we gotta keep moving. We're gonna keep we moving. Gotta... I know, this is what happens on filming days. Oh. Oh, look at the back. Oh, someone just downed their cup of water. That's so interesting. They have shops down here. They don't seem very operational right now. Maybe they'll open up later. <gasps> Whoa, did you see the ceiling? We should have given this town a full day. I would have just hung out here for a few hours. I know, I'm sad now. I feel like we're rushing. I just want to chill. I know, it's like so peaceful. This reminds me of going up to Michelangelo in Florence. Yeah. Well, let's go see what's up there. Ooh, this salt water is like hurting my chest. I may have come a tiny bit prepared. Right, What'd you bring? What'd you bring? What is it? What is it? It's a single. Hey, is that from the Emirates it's flight? From the Emirates flight. <laughs> this is why we keep our snacks. Is it feeling extra yummy after your salty water? Hmm. It said you must eat snacks and relax. <sighs> I would have brought gummy bears. This place is big. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling happier. Good. <laughs> I think there's more of a path up there, but we're gonna circle back down this way and go through here. Seriously, like the good place. If someone said, what do you think heaven looks like? I feel like now I can pinpoint it to this place. Everybody walk except around I, with their little cups of water. Except I get to fill this up with chocolate. Chocolate fountain is like my dream. That's what I hope I get in heaven. Mm -hmm. Lint chocolate, like the red lint balls. Those are my favorite. That's what I want. It's just like Leo. <laughs> you have to go, little kitty cat. Grandma Bev, that one's for you. <laughs> I'm so sad we're leaving. But I, it's funny because I forgot about the thing I wanted to do. I'm going for one more cup of water before we go. Salty water. We just left. Mm -hmm. I'm 
really sad. That was weird. Do you feel healed? No, but that place is actually super cool. Like, I'm not really one for relaxing and chilling in that, but I could see like hanging out a whole day there. Like I saw a family come in there with their daughter and they must make it a regular thing because the lady like greeted them by name, gave them their cups. Apparently it's something that you do for like six to 12 months or something regular treatments, I guess you could say. But I mean, yes, imagine just coming there, chilling, doing a little bit of work on your studies. I don't know. It just seems like a nice No, I place. think study free. <laughs> Tech free, study free. It's not a Starbucks. That could be our villa. We're walking past this place called Bella Vista. It's also like a resort and golf uh, nice. place. That looks like it would also rejuvenate you if you I like think golf. This place is heavily catered for for like older people. Maybe retired. Yeah, they're just coming here to relax. Like I don't know, it's just a different thing. Just looking at it makes me feel relaxed. Look at all of these. Oh, seriously. Oh, look, they look like they make pizzas out here. Are we the only people that have never heard of this town? Hmm? Buses are coming here in the bus load. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I smell fire that smelled like Christmas. Yeah, there's a pizza. I am not kidding. I don't think I've ever been to a place more peaceful than this. This is the most peaceful, yet vibey and bustling, yet happening, but calm place I've ever been. It's like a complete, what do you call it? Contradiction. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. It's a emergency exit. So there's like agriturismo is in that up the road. This, this when we say this town has a completely different feel to any other town we've been to, we 100% mean it. We made it to the funicular. Of course, it looks like the cutest little funicular station you'd ever did see. Quick, 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 quick. Nearly half an hour, I forgot. What time is the next one? I don't know, we're gonna go check. It's every half an hour. What time is it right now? 12 past 5. Okay, so I might have 15 minutes to chill. Oh, you hmm? Let's see, let's get tickets quick. Ah, per due con ritorno, per favore. Okay. E ogni 30 minuti? Okay. Okay. There we go. We got 15 minutes to the next one. I'm so excited. So this has been the thing that I wanted to come to this town specifically for was the funicular because I love a funicular and then we ended up just being blown away by everything else. I completely forgot about this while we were at the baths and now we're finally on. Should we go? And it's sunset now so I think we'll get a very nice view. So we're going all the way up there. I know, I'm like looking through the window in the front and that just looks like a straight incline. Wow. It just went from a 21% incline to a 31% incline, so we slowed down. It gets steeper. How does this hold? I don't want to know. 
That is so steep. Almost there, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Almost there. 36% gradient. This is making me so nervous. Oh, it's about to hit 38.5. Can you feel it starting to shift a little yeah. bit to the left? That was just like handwritten, so it makes me feel a little bit not safe. We're almost there. Oh, that is steep. That is insane. Oh my god, I'm actually scared. <laughs> This is so insanely steep. I'm actually a little frightened because I do not like roller coasters. Jeez, it takes you high. Whoa. Huh? We are literally okay. over the whole valley. Now my biggest fear is that we roll backwards. Okay, but we made it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. I think we've talked. This is seriously nuts. That's it. If you wanted to sit inside, it's like little wooden benches. There's three of them, three little train cars. And you can also stand on the front. We stood on the back. How's that? It's quite hazy today. Well, it's not hazy. I think it's just because it's sunset. This thing is a beast, man. Comes by. I know. Oh, look at the view behind you. It took us from Montecatini town to Montecatini Alto, the upper part of town. And now we are in the tiny town of Montecatini Alto. And he said that the best thing to do is to see the views. That's about the highlight. He said one turn around and you'll see the whole city. I am so happy we did this. That was even better than I could have anticipated. It was the thing I was like most looking forward to. That's why I wanted to come to this city. When Mateo told me there was a funicular, I was like, ah, I want to go there just to ride the funicular. And that was even more of an experience that I, <laughs> than I could have imagined. A lot steeper, a lot higher, and the views, I mean, I was like, oh, it'll be nice, but this is actually, again, I feel like this whole town has left me speechless. Uh, and we're here, the sun's about to set. I think this is an awesome time of day to come. Totally worth the seven euro. Looking at a map. Yeah. So there are 21 points of interest to do in this tiny little town. So let's take a walk around. We'll see what we can see and our 20 points of interest will take us to the end of town over there but what i want to do is i want to go to the other side because if it's a valley as well the sun shining this way we should be able to get a much nicer view on that side perfect let's go oh. this is i'm just i have no more words left in my vocabulary for how i feel about this this leg of our trip today i mean seriously these are so I feel like I'm in like a like a Disney book or a Disney a Disney movie. Okay, there's a Torre. Orologio. Wow, well, they really tried to get you on that one. Orologio. I think wealthy people live here. It looks very pristine. Can I buy to you on a view? I just need. I want both. I feel like I'm in a Disney movie. Whoa, it's like really happening over here. What a cool like where even are we? This is the greatest discovery we've ever made. <laughs> Are you just speechless? There's like, like some white lotus stuff in the middle of nowhere. <gasps> Look, we could go get pizza. It smells so good here. Okay, we might have to forego eating because I want to see the views before sunset. This is why you guys don't see much food because we're so busy doing things we don't actually have time to stop and eat. I know and I'm so hungry. It's 6 p.m. We're on the hunt for a little view because the sun is going to be setting in the next like 40 minutes. Maybe after that we will grab a snack but I love golden hour as you guys know so I'm very excited to see the sunset over the valley. I feel like this town is fair. Yo, come on. This is like not real. 
Those bird sounds aren't inserted. I feel like I'm looking at my this video right now and it's not doing this justice at all. I think our best view we're gonna get is on the other side of town though, so we're gonna have to trek back to that side. But I mean look at this. It's very peaceful, yeah. We should have spent a whole day here. See, but if you look it up on the internet, it looks nothing like this. And the town down the bottom looks nothing like this. it does. So it's very deceiving. So I'm glad you guys have a video to see just how beautiful it is here. Let's go find this view. I really I like to eat though. Oh my god, I guess this, the smells from these restaurants right now are just phenomenal, yeah, but we do not have time to eat. Oh. These people look like they're just living their absolute best life. I mean, seriously. No time, no time. Let's get a move on. The sun is going down. Oh, it's a little bit chilly up here. Okay, I could see, I could live in a house like this. Oh, and they have like glass. Come on, now that is brilliant. <laughs> Very picturesque. No, I feel like we're like sitting in a postcard. Ooh. What do we do? I'm a risk taker, but I'm not risky enough to eat dinner up here and then have to still take the funicular down and then still walk all the way to the train station so that we can make our train. So we're probably going to get dinner at that cute little spot as you get off the train station that Michelle loved. But it's nice to take a look up here as well, check the sunset. If we got up here earlier, I definitely would have wanted to have like lunch or something at one of these spots. Uh, the only thing is with these ones, you don't really get a view and the restaurants just look super True, cute. In the center of town. Um, yeah, it's not like you're getting like a panoramic view. So I think the view definitely is like you have to walk around to get it. So much to do, so little town. Let's keep going. One day we'll be back here. I fully believe yeah. it. If you get a chance. Donate us a house. <laughs> <laughs> And you're in the area and you're trying to look for something to do in Florence, Luca, Pisa. I want something completely unexpected and surprising and it's just exciting. We should probably get off the road. <laughs> Come here. Montecatini Terme. The but train it... station is Montecatini Centro. There are two stations for Montecatini. There's Terme and Centro. Get off in Centro. I think the term here is like more the residential area. But this is such an easy city to, to visit and it's just aesthetically pleasing. I think maybe we find it so shocking because everything's more modern. There's no old Renaissance buildings, there's none of that. It's all within like the last hundred years. It's just a nice change of taste. Yes, here I am sounding greedy having seen so much of Renaissance cities that are 800 years old. But <laughs> You're like, it over is a nice, it. It is a nice change, you know? Which I was like, wow, this is 800 years old again. No, I'm just kidding. More Renaissance no, but you know, I mean, a lot of people visit Italy actually very frequently uh, i mean we know some people have been like 20 times and you want to find different things that that just surprise you and i love that as much as we we've lived in italy and seen so much of it that we can still be surprised that to me is like oh yeah. amazing i again absolutely speechless because we did panic in pistoia just a little bit just a little bit we were worried that every tuscan town was going to look the same but now we immediately got a re what's the word reminder, re reminder. refresher that it's not all the same. It's are we going the right way? Yeah, we are, but like, I thought there'd be more views here, but it seems a bit bushy. We're almost back at the funicular. Oh, okay, cool. There's a sidewalk here. Oh, I thought the view you could see over there. Oh, so this is like really overgrown, but you can still see peaks Let's and valleys. Further along. Let's do a lap. And then we get some gelato. Ugh, uh, and real food. Hey, we're getting somewhere. Golly gosh, fathers, it is peaceful up here. Yo. You can hear every bird chirp. The funicular is every 30 minutes. So the next one is gonna be now in eight minutes at 6.30. So we're just getting in a few last views and then going down for dinner. What's the time? 6.24. We got six minutes. The funicular is on its way up. Can you see it? And we're back to where we started. It's gonna get dark and cold as soon as that sun goes down and the next tram's in half an hour and we don't actually have any jackets or anything. So we didn't really wanna just hang out here till dark. So we'll take a sunset tram down. Yeah, get the get view. Okay, we want to be on the outside again. This time we chose the other side of the car. Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> and we're off. You look at how giant these like motors are. Look at that view behind you. I do not like roller coasters. This to me just feels a little aggressive. That's my only that's my only thing. But it is it is pretty cool. It's trippy. It's trippy. Look at us, we got our lonesome little box here at the back. I know. Everyone crowded to the front, but we were on the front earlier, so. May, June, September, October, best months to do anything mm -hmm. in Italy. It's a little terrifying, but I love it. Mateo's risking it to get the biscuit here. He's putting his phone right there, but this thing is shaking. So let's hope you don't drop it. Oh, I don't like that sound. Well, that's so crazy. They're like at an angle. Look, we're swapping cots. Oh! Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> Hashtag adventure life. I love that we can still be surprised. It's the childlike wonder of travel that fills my heart and I feel like this, wow, this, this does it. Just like that, we're at the bottom. That was very cool. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoyed that. <laughs> Same. We so easy to please. What does uh, this one remind me of? There's something it reminds me of. There's a funicular and a Molfi. Wasn't there a Riche uh, one? Because that was hanging. A Riche. No, a Riche had the hanging in the air one. Yes, wasn't on and the Table ground. Mountain also has the one that hangs in the air. Yeah, so what's the one that runs along the track? We've done one of oh, these. Oh, oh, what is oh, it? we did one. Oh my God, where, where was, was that? That's, that's actually going to irritate me. No. It wasn't sure. Wellington. Maybe it was Wellington. Oh, it was Wellington. Grazie. Got all of our stuff, and we're off. Yay! Grazie. Hai detto che questo è originale del 1898. Sì. L'hai detto? 1889. It's 1898. 1898. Sorry. Yeah, and this one, the train, the, the line, and the, the big wheel to the top is a very original. It's really original. Really? Really, really, really historic funicular. This is okay. Oh, I loved it. Now yeah. I love it even more. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was fantastic. Oh, he said he said this thing's been here since 1898. Yeah. Makes me scared that it's got the original wheel, but yeah. But we made it <laughs> up and down. So next to the funicular, there's this little restaurant. Apparently, it's very good, uh, and it looks really cool. I actually had it written down to check it out. It's like a cocktail restaurant bistro thing. Menu. This looks very cool. Is it expensive? Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Margarita's nine, so that's why we're not gonna see you. <laughs> How much was it at that point? Seven. We're just on a budget still, so not today. Oh, I think it's called Funi for like funiculare. Oh, Is it short? Wow. Is it? Yes, oh, slowly. I was. I was. That was very slow of me. Grazie mille. Ciao a tutti. Hello from Italy. <laughs> Dall'Italia, dalla funicolare per il Sudafrica e gli Stati Uniti. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, grazie mille. He was delightful. He's the one who also like gave us that extra spiel about the, the history of it. My heart feels so full. I couldn't recommend this more. I mean, this, this activity and this city are now like in my top five things we've done. So. 7 euro 50 round trip each. Now it's time for dinner. <laughs> we need to buy a camera. Time. Wait, hang on. This uh, external battery has been my bracelet to charge my phone. We've been filming on an iPhone this entire adventure and I've been fine with it up until now. But this last week we've been filming so much and it's just this thing's permanently attached to me because the battery just won't hold up because we shoot in 4K. And I'm on airplane mode the entire day. I leave the house at 100% low battery mode, airplane mode on from the get go. And I, my bat, like this thing is still attached to me. So hopefully in the next few months we'll be able to upgrade to a proper camera. 
with spare batteries so we don't have to do this <laughs> on that note if you like our new format of how much talking we're doing that we don't notice we're doing so much talking let us know in the comments if you like the new format of more talking or whether you just want us to shut up more <laughs> and just yeah get to the places also i apologize if our audio keeps changing <laughs> because every time I plug in the external, we have to unplug the mic. But it doesn't matter. We want to show you guys around, so we're just going to keep chugging along here. But for now, save the battery. Oh yeah, but, but, but for now, I have to hit stop. This looks so pretty at night. There seems to be an entire like street market going on down there. So after further consideration, I've come to the conclusion that if Erice and San Vito Lo Capo had a baby, it would be this city. It is. The perfect mix. If you haven't seen those videos, go check them out and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. We've made it back to our little square. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's do this. Sweet, we got a, a table right behind the bar. <laughs> and I got my hot date. Cheers! We came to where Misha wanted to have dinner earlier and it's actually an awesome little place. There's quite a sick vibe here. I just feel like I'm in paradise and it is beautiful and elegant and I'm just so happy right now. And the prices are very reasonable. Even better. Cheers. Grazie mille. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's literally fogging up my screen. Matteo got the Diabola, which is like a margarita but like with spicy salami. Are you excited for this? I am excited. And just remember in Italy, when you order like a pizza and a beer, they'll both be here within five to 10 minutes. I don't know why, they just come out that fast and they'll be ready. And the people won't come back again. So if you want to get service, flag them down or you just pay at the front. But this looks so good, I'm excited to dig in. It's very rare that we level up from a margarita, but today just feels like the day to treat ourselves. So mm. that's why I got the Quattro Stagione, the Four Seasons. It comes with olives, mushrooms, ham, artichoke, and mozzarella cheese. It's my favorite pizza. Isn't it strange how they put the four ingredients separately? I, know. I actually just noticed that. I was like, oh, I guess I'm eating it <laughs> in sections. <laughs> And a lot of the times, this pizza doesn't come pre-cut. 99% of the 99 time. 99 of the time, it's not pre-cut. <gasps> oh, that sound makes me, oh, God, <laughs> stop. That sound makes my ears like krill, man. I cannot do the knife and fork sound on a plate. Add some spicy salami. It's delicious. I don't know why I've been enjoying my spicy salami lately. Maybe it's because I'm a spicy salami. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Very good. It's delicious. This place. Oh, All right, we just finished dinner. Ooh, and the bells are a chiming. It's kind of a random time. What time is it right now? 8.30. It's 8.30, the bells are chiming. 8.30 apparently is important for the bells to chime. So there was a two euro cover charge per person. Didn't realize that, so that added four euro to the bill. But that kind of like takes care of your tip because in Italy it's not customary to tip. Okay, and there's the gelateria. He said. Yes, yeah. and we asked um, the bartender if he had any recommendation. So even though there's a gelateria across the street, he recommended we come around the corner to this one. So it's just funny how they all have their own personal preference. Yeah, like, like, there's one right there, but like the one around the corner is better. <laughs> and we like they always seem to know, and it's just so weird because like how many ice cream flavors have you tried in each place? That you can say like the other one's better than this one. We like asking people what they prefer because. I don't know, it's just nice to go off a recommendation. There's only so much Googling you can do. <laughs> That's a nice seasonal one as well. Yeah, is it? You better hurry oh, up. Yeah, because our, our train is in 30 minutes, so we're getting this. Now. Oh, 25. Oh, luckily, the station's right here. They got a game oh, stuff as well. <laughs> this place looks nice. Chocolato and Company. Perfect. Sounds like my kind of place. <gasps> oh, wow. Yeah, it does What is that? Oh, I know, but that looks good. It looks like, oh, it has cherries in it. This place is nice. They have all of these sweets. Oh, now that looks delightful. All right. Ciao. There's like straight up like lavender, like different 
plants in these things. Truffle with whiskey? Wait, oh. really? Yeah. I've never seen that, and I've never seen Inominato. What's Inominato? Uh, I'm under the peanut sauce. Oh my goodness. Okay, so these are more of like the standard ones. Stracciatella, strawberry. Caught it with what? Okay. Pistachio. I'm getting that. Wait, what is that again? Is that peanut? It's that chocolate, a top of chocolate. And the biscuit. Chunduya. That one's an old cookie. Due gusti, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Tartufo al whisky. So you get three scoops with this, so she's doubling up on those. Grazie. Il nominato anche Gianduia. It's almond with peanut yeah. sauce. And Jean Duya I can't let you do not explain it, but it's a type of chocolate. Alright, it was two euro fifty per little for the little cup mm -hmm. and you get three flavors, but Mateo and I realize that when you get three it just mashes up too much. <laughs> so we get two and then they usually just do like a scoop and a half, scoop and a half. I got the truffle and whiskey and the vecchio cookie is like an old cookie. I've never seen <laughs> never had either of these or seen either of these. You got the janduya and the... And like a peanut hazelnut. And a peanut hazelnut. Let's see, what do you think? Mm. You've been just like mashing in on it. What is I it? I don't know which one's which. No, the janduya is delicious. The janduya is the darker one. Yeah, no, that one is delicious. What, is it? what is does it taste like? Nutty? Good nutty. Oh, oh my god. Are you spilling it already? I know, I know. Gelato melts so fast, this is where you That truffle whiskey is wild. Mm. Oh, oh, so is the god. peanut hazelnut. Oh my god. <laughs> How do you lick her on the outside? I am. Oh, oh. And the vecchio cookie is even better. Oh my god, baby, you have to try these. Where's the, okay, thank god the translation's right in front Wait, of Wait, let us. me try the whiskey truffle with This That's why I hate eating in public. So the brown one's a truffle whiskey. <laughs> Isn't that good? That's wild. That is, that is actually very that is, good. I normally don't like liqueur flavored, like as much as I like mixed drinks, I hate liqueur flavored um, chocolates and stuff. But that, Wait, what's that's other crazy. One? Okay, my other one is the vecchio, the old cookie. I love the, I, yeah. Last time I know, and I actually think, I was a little bit worried about this <laughs> combo, but that's actually together, that's a very solid um, combo. Yeah. Never get three flavors in one. It seems yeah. to diminish the quality of each flavor. So the janduya, let me see. Me and you have a slightly different palettes here with this stuff. Oh, that's good. The janduya, the closest thing I could um, say that it tastes like is like the bocce chocolate. Oh, it's basically like it tastes like bocce chocolate, uh, yeah. but just like in an ice cream. It's like nutty hazelnut. What's this other one that you got? Like hazelnut almond. I don't know. Almond peanut. It's different. Oh, that's actually good too. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, sorry, but, sorry we don't actually have like any footage sorry. of it. They melt so fast, we don't actually have time to. Okay, I, I like yours, but I think I would actually still go for mine. Which 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 combo would you do, yours or mine? Whiskey truffle. I like my janduya though. Yeah, no, your janduya is good. And I actually think because they're both like chocolatey based, that would actually be a sick combo. But this vecchio cookie, the old cookie, I mean, mm. what even is that? Like caramel? Spied cookies. <laughs> yeah, spied cookies taste good. It almost tastes like a caramel, like a caramel cream. Yeah. But not. Tastes like a shortbread cookie, but in gelato form. <laughs> Actually, because I love shortbread cookies. Maybe that's why I love it so much. Tastes like they just made it in a, a gelato. Mm. But all right, guys. Wait. Our train's wait, like wait. literally like now, and this we're just it's a hot mess express right now. So we stations down the road. We gotta we gotta head there. I have to take the camera from Mateo so he can eat. <laughs> we'll end it here. See you in the next video. I really love bringing these church bells. All right, we're officially signing off. See you in the next video.